hello guys and welcome to another video uh in this video we're going to be talking about google messages versus samsung messages and which app is the best for messaging in 2024 all right so uh go ahead and make sure you've installed uh both the uh, google messages and the samsung default messages all right so let's go ahead and open up the google messages so I'm going to be saying a few things about Google Messages and how useful it is to a certain demographic of people. So when you open up the Google uh, Message app for the first time, you'd be asked to log into your Google account for easier access across multiple devices and stuff like that. That's why you have your Google account here at the top right corner of the screen. So if you click on this, you can manage your Google account directly from here. Uh, you can check your archives. You can check your profile, which is basically uh, customizing how you are seen by people and um, who can message you and stuff like that. So you can get a glimpse of what you look like directly from Google Messages. Uh, we also have the device pairing, which is a mad feature from Google, where you could simply use your uh, laptop or tablet to log into your Google Messages account. Not your email, your Google Messages account. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, you can monitor your data in your messages. You could uh, use the messaging settings to uh, check your RCS chats, which is basically making use of Wi-Fi or data to message when available. Um, it's really cool. Uh, we have other options such as uh, your country, uh, voice message transcriptions, which is really cool. You could transcribe voice messages as soon as they are sent. Uh, it's it's a really cool uh, feature. We also have Gemini, which is an AI feature exclusive to the Google Messages. It's just above the toggle to create a new chat. So if you click on this, uh, welcome to Gemini. So you could simply use Gemini to kind of help you as an assistant. You could ask it to uh, create a memo or create a good morning message it's kind of like a personal assistant directly in your uh, messaging app so it really helps uh, you could also ask it to send these messages to different people on your contact list as well all right so besides the gemini feature another cool feature is if you click on your profile and click on spam and blocked you can find numbers messages calls that have been blocked and treated as spam calls this is a feature unique to the google messages All right so another cool feature of the google messages or a similarity it shares with samsung is you could pin a message so you could pin a message here uh, you could also archive your messages as well uh, you could archive you could delete and you could block all of these from the click of a button all right guys so another cool feature of the google messages is um we have emojis on google messages uh, no matter how funny you'd find that you actually don't have access to emojis on samsung that is on their messaging app without having to use the keyboard uh, in order to use emojis or react to messages like this uh, this is a reaction using the rcs uh, chat options so you could have uh, emojis that are like this that are interactive animative emojis you can also add some from your from google themselves onto the messaging app so that's a cool feature so if you were to click directly on the emojis option these are the emojis you have access to from google all right guys so there's a ton of features that are being offered by the Google Messages. So if you were to click on a message, click on the plus icon, you have access to sending images uh, from your gallery. Uh, you could forward GIFs over, also stickers as well. These are all uh, thanks to Google. Uh, if you were to click on the plus again, we have Magic Rewrite, where you could uh, simply rewrite a draft before you send it. We also have the option to schedule send. This is uh, this is noticeable ac across uh, both Samsung and Google, uh, both their platforms. You could also share contacts. So you could share a contact. That's a really cool feature. Uh, you could share your location files and the rest. So guys, those are the cool features of the Google Messages. All right, and that's mostly everything about the Google Messages. 
now moving on to samsung messages let's go ahead and activate the samsung messages uh, go ahead and set it up continue with samsung set as default with the google messages i forgot to mention when it comes to numbers that's having numbers like these over here on samsung messages samsung tends to cram or cramp your numbers all together there's no spaces but with the google messages there is a good amount of space between each number so you can easily read it um, another cool feature that is exclusive to the samsung is uh, certain chats can be modified in different ways so if you click on the chat click on the three dotted icon at the top right and simply uh, pull up this menu you could pin this chat as you saw there's a pin at the bottom of the screen uh, you could turn on and turn off notifications for this conversation uh, you could delete certain messages search for certain messages in a chat uh, it's also usable on the google messages uh, you could click on categories and give it a category uh, that's something you can't do on the google messaging app but with samsung you can i'll go i'll get into that later but if you click on customize chat room you can go ahead to set different colors for your chat room so let's leave it here you can increase or reduce the text contrast um, if you click on the gallery icon you could as well select an image from your gallery uh, let's go with this this is a good picture click on done and boom this can be used for your chat rooms so if you head back beautiful so that's it uh, another cool feature that Samsung offers, like I mentioned earlier, was the categories. So if you click on the plus at the top of your screen and set, uh, let's say, codes, click on this. And then all you need to do is select the conversation you want to add to that category. You can click on as many as possible and click on done. And boom, now we have different categories of messaging on our messaging app. And you can also use the filter icon at the top of the screen to choose what you want to see. So you could see all messages. You could uncategorize messages as well. Uh, all that good stuff. All right. So uh, a downside of the Samsung messaging app is when it comes to emojis, actual emojis, you don't have an option to react to messages on uh, your chat like you do on the google messages so you can't react you can only star a message uh, you can share this you can forward a cool feature is you can select text to copy like you could just copy this alone you could copy it and you're done uh, what other feature you could add add it to your reminders so that's a cool feature uh, if you click on the plus icon you can find that you can use the calendar to simply share events so let's say we want to share Christmas, click on done. You could send it as an event file or as a text message using the Samsung messaging app. You could also uh, take out notes from your Samsung notes app. You could make use of the quick responses, which is native to Samsung. So if you click on this and you simply click on the gear icon, you could set and choose the quick response you want so uh, instead of having stuff like this you could have you could have stuff like this click on save and you can have them here you can also set it up to showing conversations so if you click on quick responses you'd find optimus prime rules all right so those are the little uh, features of the samsung messaging app i did i did forget to mention that having emojis or using gifs and uh stickers and um bitmojis uh animated emojis as well these are all native to the samsung keyboard you are taking that from the samsung keyboard not from just your normal keyboard it's taken from your samsung keyboard so guys that's everything uh i feel if you were to make a decision between samsung and google it all boils down to personal preference what you would want or what you wouldn't want in a messaging app for me, I feel the Samsung app is really cool. Uh, you can give it a try. But if you're sticking to Google, then Google is one of the best messaging apps out there. All right. Thank you.